Welcome to the reading class. This reading strategy has been developed to tackle reading questions in the TOEFL paper test or any other test formats similar to the TOEFL paper test. There are different approaches to reading comprehension. This strategy is only one of them, but you may have your own strategy that suits you best. However, knowing different strategies can be useful in developing your reading skills. In this strategy, you will practice with four different tips. Tip number one, read the first sentence of each paragraph to grasp the topic of the passage. Carbon tetrachloride is a colorless and inflammable liquid that can be produced by combining carbon disulfide and chlorine. Despite its widespread use in industry, carbon tetrachloride has been banned for home use. This reading has only two paragraphs. The first thing that you need to know is what are you reading? Some test takers try to read from the beginning to the end of the passage. Is it good for you? Only you will know. In this approach, however, I suggest you read only the first sentence of each paragraph, just enough to know the topic of the passage. If you still do not know exactly after reading the first sentence only, do not panic. Do not try to force yourself to read carefully line by line. Just move on to the next tip. Tip number two. Find questions on vocabulary and references only. Answer them one by one while reading the passage part by part. This tip is asking, why are you reading? In a test, the reason that we read is to answer questions. Therefore, in this strategy, I suggest you read the questions first. Then find the information in the passage to answer the questions. As you can see here, there are four questions related to vocabulary and references. Number two will let you read until line two. Number three will let you read until line four. Number six will let you read until line seven. And number seven will let you read until line eight. And you finish the passage. Now let's try to do the exercise starting from number two. The word widely in line two could most easily be replaced by then go to the reading passage. You read from the beginning until line two or the sentence in line two. Carbon tetrachloride is a colorless and inflammable liquid that can be produced by combining carbon disulfide and chlorine. This compound is widely used in industry today because of its effectiveness as a solvent as well as its use in the production of propellants. The word that is closest in meaning to widely is B, extensively. Now number three, the word band in line four is closest in meaning to go back to the reading passage. Now you can continue to line four. Despite its widespread use in industry, carbon tetrachloride has been banned for your home use. In the past, carbon tetrachloride was a common ingredient in cleaning compounds that were used throughout the home, but it was found to be dangerous. The option that is closest in meaning to banned is forbidden. Now you move on to number six. The word inhaled in line seven is closest in meaning to, now you can continue. In the past, Carbon tetrachloride was a common ingredient in cleaning compounds that were used throughout the home. But it was found to be dangerous. When heated, it changes into a poisonous gas that can cause severe illness and even death if it is inhaled. The option that is closest in meaning to inhaled is B. Breathed in. Number seven. The word revoked in line 8 could most easily be replaced by Go back to the passage. Because of this dangerous characteristic, the United States revoked permission for the home use of carbon tetrachloride in 1970. The United States has taken similar action with various other chemical compounds. So the word revoked in line 8 could most easily be replaced by took away. Now that you have answered all the questions on vocabulary and references, 
and at the same time you have read the passage quite carefully, you may now answer question number one. As you can see here, the question asks you about the topic, the main point of this passage. The TOEFL reading tests are usually formatted this way. If you do more exercises, you will see that this is just the way the questions are formatted. After answering question number one, you can proceed to the rest of the questions. Number one, the main point of this passage is that C. Although carbon tetrachloride can legally be used in industry, it is not allowed in home products. Number four, according to the passage before 1970, carbon tetrachloride was C. Often used as a component of cleaning products. Number five, it is stated in the passage that when carbon tetrachloride is heated, it becomes A. Harmful. Number eight, it can be inferred from the passage that one role of the U.S. government is to A. Regulate product safety. Number nine, the paragraph following the passage most likely discusses B. The banning of various chemical compounds by the U.S. government. Now you have completed the reading exercise. Did you find the reading easy or challenging? The strategy does not automatically make your score high. You need to practice and practice and practice until it becomes mechanical. Moreover, you need to also build your vocabulary and how it is used in different contexts. Let us do some vocabulary drilling. How did you do? I hope you learned something useful. I'll see you again in my next video.